So whether you're using a mitre saw, circular saw, or a plunge saw, one of the biggest things you need to decide is which is the right blade to put on the machine. Circular saw blades come in loads and loads of different sizes. So today I'm going to talk through how you decide which blade is right for the job that you're doing. So most circular saw blades these days will give you all the information you need right on the packaging. First thing you need to decide is which diameter blade you need to use. This will usually be determined by the type of machine that you're using. So it's important to know what the overall diameter of the blade, of the blade is for the machine that you're using. Next thing you need to check is the bore size. This is the size of the hole in the middle of the blade. You need to make sure that it's the right size, again, for the machine that you've chosen to do the job with. Next thing is how many teeth do you need on the blade. Generally speaking, the fewer teeth you have on a blade, the faster cut you're going to make, but also the rougher finish you're going to get. The more teeth you have, the slower the cut's going to be, but the cleaner the finish is going to be. This is particularly important if you're cutting things with a finished edge, such as laminate also when you're cutting aluminium as well. The next thing you need to look at is, is your machine corded or cordless? Generally speaking, corded machines will use a thicker blade than a cordless machine. This is designed to reduce the drag on the blade and prolong the lifespan of the battery. So what you need to look for is the kerf thickness and it's usually given in millimetres. The last couple of points you need to look for on any blade is the angle that the tooth is set at. A positive angle blade means that the tooth is curved forward, a negative rake tooth is angled slightly backwards. This is particularly important if you're cutting materials like aluminium as the negative rake on the tooth will help prevent the blade from snatching the material and potentially causing an accident. If you're cutting rough material that's likely to have nails or bits of metal in, then you need to look for a blade that's designed where the carbide teeth are designed to take that type of impact.